Dan, we just got another question. Don't all diamonds need to come with a GIA certificate of authenticity? Well, no. I mean, the easy answer to that question is no. Uh, GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, is a gem lab. They're in the business of certifying diamonds. What certification for a diamond means is that they're saying, hi, we're a third party uh, group of diamond experts who has evaluated this stone and believe it to be this color, this clarity, etc., etc., etc. The reason why that's of comfort to a lot of consumers is that it's a disinterested third party. In other words, GIA says, we're not selling you a diamond. We have no reason to lie to you or to exaggerate how good the diamond is. This is our unbiased opinion of a stone. That's a very helpful thing to have, but it's certainly not a necessary thing. There are lots of other gem labs in the world, including EGL USA, including AGS, including IGI, including HRD, and many, many others that certify diamonds and do the same thing. They're essentially competitors of GIA. GIA is probably the, the most well-known gem lab, but it's certainly not the only one. And of course, uh, you're free to buy diamonds certified by these other labs just as well as GIA. You're also going to be presented with opportunities to buy diamonds that haven't been certified at all. Remember, certifying a diamond adds to its cost, right? These gem labs charge for these services. So for certain kinds of diamonds, smaller diamonds, etc., it probably isn't justified to always send a stone to GIA, uh, or to any gem lab for that matter. Also, for lower clarity stones, typically you don't bother certifying them because it's obvious to the consumer, to the salesperson, to whoever, kind of what the diamond is. And there, there's no reason to add the extra expense to a stone like that. Stones for earrings and what have you typically don't need to be certified. It's just an extra expense that's not really justified. So the short answer to your question is, do I need a GIA certificate in order to buy a diamond? No, you don't. Is, if it's a source of comfort for you, if you feel like it's gonna make you feel better and feel more confident in your purchase, then by all means, get a certified diamond. We can certainly talk about the varying virtues and, and downsides to all of the different gem labs and why GIA versus EGL USA versus IGI, et cetera, et cetera. That's a, that's a whole separate question and beyond the scope of this conversation. Uh, what I will say is if you're buying an uncertified diamond, make sure you're buying it from somebody you trust, whose, whose opinion on a diamond is somebody, something you can take at face value. Make sure you're comfortable with the assessments that you're given by whoever you're working with. Find a jeweler you can trust and then trust that person. Again, I say this all the time and I mean it. If you don't know jewelry, know your jeweler.